Welcome back, folks. Tommy O'Brien from TFNN checking out the markets. 8.42 a.m. We got that weekly jobless claims number. We'll jump over to that in a moment. Right now, you're looking at the S&Ps positive by one point. NASDAQ futures positive by 67. The Dow negative by 33. 8.30 a.m. on Thursdays. Every Thursday, we get weekly jobless claims. That number just hitting the tape about 12 minutes ago. The number... 884,000 first-time filings for unemployment insurance. The number they were looking for was about 850,000 expected, so a little bit more than the market was expecting. The number I always like to take a look at, continuing claims from those filing for at least two weeks rising from the previous week, hitting 13.385 million, an increase of 93,000 from a week ago. An indicator that the strong jobs market improvement through the summer may be tailing off entering the fall. That is the quote over there on CNBC. Not what you want to see, folks. Now, we're getting a big number every single week in terms of almost a million claims for first-time filings on a weekly basis. That is the first time. You're talking about almost 900,000 people filing for unemployment for the first time within the last week, and you also have a continuing claims rising. We need to be decreasing this number. We're looking at 13.385 million right now, an increase from last week. Nonetheless, pretty stark numbers out there, checking out the markets, but the market actually liking what's going on. There's your 8.30 bar. We're looking at 15-minute bars, putting it closer on a five-minute. We'll zoom in on the action on 8.30. We'll zoom it in again. There's your 8.30 volatility. We were trading at about 33.91. You're now seeing the S&Ps rising by about 10 points. We're over where we were overnight, backing things off. You did see a little sell-off in the markets. It really began about 2.30 in the morning. You saw the S&Ps trade from 3408 down to a low of 33.75. We're now above where we were at 6 a.m., 3401. Again, those highs that we had at about 2.30 in the morning. We're coming right up to that level right now, 3408. Dow jumping over Dow in negative territory the only major index right now in negative territory you get the Russell up two, Nasdaq up 70 S&P's up by two as well the Dow negative by 29 points right now 20 and trading at 27,946 checking back to some of the stocks that had earnings last night as we covered restoration hardware they're continuing to charge higher to the tune of almost 20 percent folks we're up to 380 dollars that's a rise of $60 from the close last night of 320 On the reverse side, as we covered, GameStop trading lower in dramatic fashion by about 10%, trading at 663 from a close yesterday of 735 Jumping around to commodities, crude oil down 56 cents at 37.49. The gold contract catching a little bit of a bid at $9.40 in the positive at 1964. And we got the 10-year yield. Right now, a little bit of lower price and higher yield. The 10-year yield, 0.716% in terms of how it's trading in price, 139.06. The 10-year, negative three ticks. The 30-year, negative by about 13 ticks. Over in Europe, the DAX is basically flat. The FTSE, down about three-tenths percent. Over in Asia overnight, you had the Nikkei up by about nine-tenths percent. Shanghai, negative by about six-tenths percent. All right. Checking out what else we have going on, stocks. How about Bed Bath & Beyond? Added Webbush, added the housewares retailer to a best ideas list. Bed Bath & Beyond, they have been suffering in a big way, but they get a little bit of an upgrade, pointing out that the stock is still trading at distressed levels despite positive comp sales and a path to a quote-unquote dramatic improvement in profitability. BBBY is their symbol. They they look at that charge higher, folks. From 11.42, we make it to above 12 on that upgrade. But for some context, a three-year weekly, not what you want to see. From $30 down to $3, but quite a pop from those COVID lows, we'll call it. $3.43. We're going to open this morning for Bed Bath & Beyond at about $12 on that stock. What else we got going on? Amazon elected retired general. Keith Alexander to its board of directors, former commander of U.S. Cyber Command, as well as NSA director, founder and co-chief executive of Ironet Cybersecurity. So bringing a little cybersecurity to their board separately, India's Reliance Industries offering to sell a $20 billion stake in its retail unit to Amazon. So a lot going on as Amazon, checking around to some of the FANG stocks this morning. 
Amazon, now that's your three-year weekly. Talk about a pretty chart if you're an Amazon owner. Zooming it in on this morning, closed at 3268. We do have the NASDAQ 100 futures positive by 90 now. The Dow has made it into the positive as well. All the indices in the green now. Amazon up about $30 at 3294. These tech stocks have had some real volatility. Check out Apple up to 119.80, not that long ago. Overnight, Tuesday into Wednesday, we were trading at 110.59. Microsoft shares trading at 212.45, up a bit from their 211 close. Facebook shares, 275.37, up a bit as well. Google shares this morning, 15.57, up a bit. Google not really behaving as well as some of the other tech stocks. They have a potential antitrust suit coming down the line on them. Netflix shares. 503.43 from about 500. And I'm going to jump around to some of those cannabis stocks. How about Canopy charging higher? Up about 5% yesterday. The news that you may see the House come out with a possible uh, vote on federal legislation uh, taking marijuana off of the Schedule One drug charge in terms of where that is scheduled. Nonetheless, you saw those cannabis stocks charge higher a bit yesterday. And jumping around to some of the ride-sharing companies, they were charging higher as well. How about Uber? Up yesterday to 35.50, closed at 35.01. We're up a bit. Lyft shares this morning, basically flat, down a bit to 29.62. You see the charge both of these companies had on Tuesday, dramatically higher to about 30.95. One of my fan favorites, Disney, they're catching a little bit of flack over Mulan, uh, but nonetheless behaving pretty well. Disney at about 134, 133.60 this morning on their numbers. And jumping back to what else we have, stocks with action this morning. Spotify got an upgrade to outperform from neutral at Credit Suisse based on optimistic projections of subscriber numbers as well as optimism about major labels participating in the music streaming services quote unquote marketplace offering. Marketplace lets artists pay Spotify to promote their new music to targeted audiences. That's a good deal, right? Good deal for Spotify, at least. Spotify from $245, we're up more than $10 this morning to $256.50. And Boeing, so Boeing continuing to have some woes, agreeing to an independent review of its compliance and ethics practices, centering on its behavior in bidding to win a lunar lander contract from NASA and the Air Force, I mean, it just doesn't end on this stock, folks. Um, Boeing, 161.25 for some context on where this stock has been in the last year. There's your COVID fall off from 350 to 89. And we've just kind of been hanging out right uh, around this 150 to 160 mark on Boeing shares. All right, jumping back to the markets. They are liking this weekly jobless claims number, folks. We are trading higher to the tune of about almost 20 points from where that came out. We're looking at five minute bars there. There's your 830 number. We were down to a low of 3390 and we're 20 points higher right now in the S&Ps from that price point. S&Ps trading at 3410 for some context on where we have been. There's your sell off from 3587 in the span of four days. You go from 3587, yesterday's low 3295. You're talking about almost 300 points, but since then, we're up a solid 120 points in that S&P. Markets in the green. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. See what else we have on tap for Thursday trading. Stay tuned. I'll be back in three minutes.